Hello all, welcome back. This is Adina Masna and today I will show you how to use forms. Let's see which are the options available for using forms. You can see right now a blank screen is available. This is a blank role. Mind it, this is not a form, this is a role. Now to add a form to your role, how to do that? Let's go to the options and here you can see this is the option of adding forms. Click onto the forms. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total 8 types of forms are available. And yes, you can also add your own form by going to this particular add. If you go to add option, you can see you can import any images or any particular uh, design that you have made for a form from USB or from network drive and then you can add it as a default. So let's add one particular form to our role. Let's add a green board and you can see there are different options available here. If I apply it to all pages, all the pages of my role will be as green board and if I make it fit to page, it will be fit to whole screen. So let's deselect let's make a form that is only applied to one page of your role so let's apply it now you can see this is one page and if i scroll to the next page that is a simple black white role okay but this particular page has been made as a green board so now let's write on to this this is green board okay this is let's make it as page one okay so now green board is there now let's again add one more form going to forms we select note we do not add all pages, select it, fit to page, preview, by previewing it you can see how it will look but see it has been already applied to our current page, we don't want to apply it over there. So what I will do is again reselect green board, apply it, now see I have applied it to all the pages. So now let's go to the second page. And from here, what I'll do is, I can undo this part, I'll select forms, I'll add a node, a node form, I'll not select this all pages, so it will be added to this particular second page. I'll apply it, and now you can see, the first page is the green board that we had already created, the second page is the form. That we have created. Now if I give some options into this, let's say this is demo and I'll say particular options, option 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's conduct a quiz using these options and record the input of students. So let's uh, see, some students have let's say 34 students, sorry, that was a mistake. So what I do is, I just undo it and undo all the three steps are done. And now, I put some, let's say 34 students have selected option 1, so 34. Let's say 10 students have selected option 2, so 10. And uh, no student have selected option 3. And about 20 students have selected option Oh, so you can show this like this you can share it with someone use it and let's say now we add new form to this whole role so let's go to the new page from here also I can go to a new page let's go to the new page now see by default it was green board for all the pages so I go to this particular page now what I am doing I lock it if I want to lock it so that a new layer will be created on top of it. Let me show you this. A new layer. I close this and let's 
save it. Let's see what happened with our role. See, your new role has been created. Let's go to the role browser. And in the role browser, you can see this is the role that I had created. If I go to it and if I scroll over with this, let me select this particular page. Now, so this is what had been captured when I say note layer. When I'm already using a role, and if I make a note layer onto it, this node will be created, which I can move anywhere. And I can even put it somewhere. So what I will do is, I will scroll through this page. Okay, let me scroll through the page and let me take this image to a new page. And you can see in the fourth page, the image has been put. Okay, now if I want to merge this particular image into my role, I have this particular option over here. Let me show you that option. Here the options are available. You can see I cannot edit that part. Whatever I do does not come on top of it. What if I want to merge it? So this is the option. If I select this, let me select it. It will be merged into my role. And now if I write anything onto it, yes, I am able to edit that part because now that is the part of my role page. Now let me show you once again how to add a form to this particular existing page. So let's go to forms and then I'll select let's say checklist or maybe monthly or maybe weekly. Not all pages fit to page and let's apply. Okay, so this will be our revision 1, revision 2, mid exam 1. Division 3, exam 2, and final exam. So, this is how we can do the form. And now, just let's close it, it will be saved automatically. So, you see, you saw that how I used different types of forms. There are already eight types of forms available to you. You can also use your own forms by importing some images or some designs from your PC or from your USB drive and you can create your own particular form design and then share it with students. So that's it. Thank you for the day.